629 it's whopping 82 degrees outside so got a call i'm uh i swapped call with somebody so let's go in here and see what's going on with this air conditioner it said the dining room's not working so i'm sure it's uh probably uh something stupid i hope probably dirty or whatever but let's uh get going and see what we find i cannot believe this meter bag three man i just absolutely <laughs> it's been doing awesome it has been doing awesome it's so small i mean i love my bag air that i got but man this thing's so much easier so anyhow let's go all right this thing is pumping the heat out massively pumping the heat out coils luckily are clean I've cleaned these before. These are three layers thick, massive pain in the butt. Pulling pretty decent. This side over here was the worst. Uh, I don't think it's an airflow issue. Let's see whether or not we're getting condensation very well. This is not the greatest deal here. Wouldn't surprise me, the build's probably loose. Wow, we are pulling out some massive uh, condensation. Well, when in doubt, let's check the belt and our uh, filters. common things is a freaking belt. Meow. Let's see if we can tighten these up. And check the filters. Oh jeez. Really? Idler pulley's not too bad. Freaking sheath or war. Really nice. Yeah, they're wore pretty good. That freaking pulley there, man, that's got some major freaking wear on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting there. See how this other one looks. Yeah, I mean, it's not horrible, but it definitely, definitely uh, probably another month, maybe two months max, it's gonna need it. 24 and a half, like 20, 19 and a half, I don't know, whatever it is, it don't seem to fit very good. One other thing I wanna check real quick, make sure this isn't sucking a crap load of outside air in, which a little hard to see on this one. Should have probably done this with the filler door off, but whatever. If it needs adjusting, I'm gonna take the door off anyway. And our damper is closed. Let's see if the compressors are all running. It's pulling really hard on that door. Only one contactor's pulling in right now. Uh, not 
not sure how high the stat's cranked up. There should be a two-stay stat on it. There goes the other one. Good deal. I think this one here is doing its job as best it can. Suction's cold. Not quite as cold on that one, but it's definitely cool. That one's really cold. These are calibrated hands. Very, very well calibrated hands. We're not going for the full pony show today. We're just trying to get them going. We can always come back later. It all seems to be working. This belt wouldn't surprise me. Now I'm just gonna check that other one out. Only one benefit to being up here on this section. Let's so go on up here and see if we can find the other one. I think it's I'm trying to remember where it's at. Uh, oh, I think I remember it's on the back side of the building here. Lots of heat there. Yeah, it's slippery belts, but it's running. They take care of a lot of this themselves. Yep, there's the other one. So I think that one there does the kitchen. Now it's cranking out some water too, because you can see it. All right. Never a good idea when you see water dripping out of the bottom of the unit. That ain't good. You guys ever watch that musical group Stomp? Where they play the trash, trash cans? Cranking heat. I have a feeling it's the same ordeal here. Let's check these belts. Same freaking thing. Holy floor. The shininess there. And the floor is freaking mad full of crap. Filters look good. Economizer's closed. Drain pan is nasty as all get out. Nasty, nasty. Just one blower. There's the drain. It's uh, freaking probably plugged up with scum. That's what it looks like to me. Go ahead and blast that thing out. About all we can do. I don't think I can get this part. Eh. Sometimes they don't glue it, but yeah. yeah, you can see there we go. There's a little slime. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Lots of wholesome goodness for everybody. Look at that. Heck yes. Something satisfying about seeing that come out. Not sure what it is, but it just is. So that's gonna help out quite a bit there. That really needs flushed out with the garden hose. Pan needs flushed out because all that slime. It's just gonna get caught in there, and you can see that stuff is disgusting. We've got two compressors on this one. They're both pretty equal. So we're good on that. And our blower motor is this one right here. We're at 11.6 amps. There's something kind of cool about this one run right at 60 hertz so they can do that with freak drive accurately that's the key accurately so 11 and a half 10.2 so it's it's over Let's see if we can get that away from uh
if you're real close to that like uh, magnetic coil it'll throw your clamp off the fluke's pretty good about not doing it but it definitely can happen i'm gonna pull it away from it make sure i'm pretty sure it's all 208 yeah 208 210 so actually we're about two amps over pretty sure this does not have a capacitor for that blower motor I only see two legs I have a feeling there yeah there it is the black I think they took one of the legs and bypassed the uh, contactor and just went hot with one leg let's make sure here yeah I made it pretty tight so I might loosen that up a touch uh yeah it's three phase what sucks is, is i open that up god it's already freaking about as far as it can go yeah and blower wheels i've seen worse but man oh man look down through the heat exchanger and stuff there's that nasty pan it ain't so bad over here mainly got it right there on that section loosen this up a touch it's a little tight their instructions usually tell you just to tighten it up enough that it doesn't squawk when it comes on a little glossy but yeah that pulley geez same freaking thing It's a four inch pulley. Here's another little check for you. So back and forth, we're good. Listen to this. This motor's going out. I know how this will go. So they'll wait until it's completely gone, unfortunately. You get it too tight, that's what takes out these bearings and everything else. That and just age is what we got going on here. Gonna get my information off the motor. They definitely need a pulley pretty tight but I don't know at this point all of our compressors are running everything looks pretty good blower wheels all that stuff all that ain't happening today we we just got to get them going this is this is uh, ambulance coming in getting the patient on the gurney and out the door to the hospital we're not gonna go for perfect uh, brain surgery or all that crap there's the information for that. All right, I don't suspect this is gonna make a humongo deal. Just kicked on, didn't squawk. I'm an idiot. That's a compressor. Oh my God. All right, well, let's look at this one here. All right, we're only pulling five, 5.5 amps, so we're nowhere near it. Let's, uh, let's speed that sucker up a little bit. I tried loosening that up, it won't loosen up. It's all rusted in place. So I try hitting it some heat, see if we can get it out of there. Uh, that pulley needs changed anyway, so if I can't get this, we're gonna get it going. They're already dying so bad that they opened up the door for the kitchen and it wasn't that bad in there. All right, could not get that loose, pulley needs replaced. Either way, we're just gonna have to get it up and going the way they had it. Let's go see what we're getting on the inside now that it's been running. I think just the second stage came on, so let's go to the front where we were first at. You know, check the patio room. 73, 73 on that. All right, so we got 67 back here, and I've had as low as 66. It's 89 going in on the return. Out in the dining room, we got 72 going in and 57 coming out. We got, what, 15 degrees there? And 23 degrees there, so obviously the fan speed needs to speed up for the kitchen. You can see that the grill there is just a mat. So we're back out here at the kitchen. Just wanted to see if uh, my laser thermometer is accurate. 88 and a half degrees coming in. Yeah, that fan's not going near as fast as what it needs to be going. 62.6. Let's just take it to 62.5. All right, so we got 26 degree delta T. We're nowhere near as fast as what we should be going with that fan. 
problem is that that pulley's jacked and it's wore, so it probably worked really good when it was first installed. Now that it's all wore down from everybody letting the belts go loose, uh, you know, it's not uh, doing its job. It's not uh, moving the air and getting rid of the uh, sensible heat. We're definitely removing the humidity, which is a little difficult to do when your drain pan's full of water. But now that we've got that pan drained out, that's gonna help that out a little bit. And that belt being loose, I mean, it makes a huge difference. I've seen it time and time again, and you're like, well, that's the only thing, just a little bit loose. So yeah, you can see it's doing pretty good. So I didn't do a temperature drop. Well, yeah, I did on the other one. So that's 15 degrees in the, in the uh, dining room, 15 degrees on the dining. So that one's a little more respectable. Uh, so I'm gonna let them know here in a minute, give them a call and let them know what's going on. But it's doing as good as it can do for right now. It'd be a lot better if uh, that fan was going a little faster.